Hi, I'm Paul Holtz and welcome to Studio Backlot. Backlot is becoming the go-to place for anyone that wants to make really great videos. Utterly fantastic is the way one of our members put it. Our members are video enthusiasts just like yourself. Backlot is constantly changing and evolving. We add new content each month. One good idea or tip can save you hours of work. Full memberships with download privileges are free for the first seven days. After that, the cost is only $5.99 per month. That's about half the cost of a movie ticket. And now you'll be making movies of your own. Join StudioBacklot.tv today. Hi, I'm Paul Holtz, and once again, welcome to Studio Backlot. You know, one of my jobs is to teach you guys how special effects are actually done and composited from television shows and movies. I, I really enjoy this part of my job. Um, I love dissecting what they're doing, what I see on screens, and bringing it to you guys. One of the things that we're going to be doing today is what I call the Gold Rush Hand Wipe. Uh, one of my favorite shows, don't ask me why, it's a little bit addicting to me, is on the Discovery Channel called Gold Rush. And they have a very famous transition, which we're going to show you right now, um, that's used to transition uh, between scenes and in and out of commercial breaks. Um, now, they may have done this differently, but as I was looking at it, I knew that there would be a very simple way to do this uh, and show you guys and the technique can be used in all sorts of different productions. Um, basically, it's as simple as uh, putting a green piece of paper on the ground, lighting it, and then putting some dirt on the top of it. Okay, you're gonna cover over the green, you're gonna shoot it with a camera, and basically, we're gonna use my hand to wipe that dirt off. And what you're doing, in essence, is you're exposing the green. Now, as you know, in chroma key, that green can be substituted for any sorts of image or video, okay? And that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna actually be exposing the Gold Rush logo. Um, it can also be used in great effects, uh, like if you're, uh, you know, let's just say that you wanted to use some sand on top of the uh, blue, on the blue paper, paper or green paper. It could be anything that's not green, okay? So it could be sand, it could be uh, the little foam balls that you get in your, uh, in your packing material. Anything that you can sweep away with your hand can now be used as uh, a way to expose another image. You know, maybe you're, you're uh, wiping the snow off of uh, a scene where someone is frozen in the ice and you've got a, a, an eerie face staring up at you, or you dig and and you see the living dead coming out of the dirt below you. We're going to show you that in a second here uh, as an example. But the idea is, once again, these sorts of effects are to get you to think. Think outside the box on how you might use this for your own productions. So um, let's go ahead and take it into our editing system and show you how to actually use this really great effect. Okay, now that we're in our editing software, let's go ahead and put all of this together. Um, any software is going to work that has chroma key for this. I happen to be using Pinnacle Studio for this, but let's go ahead and composite this and put this on top of our Gold Rush graphic. Now, let's show you the Gold Rush graphic here real quick. The Gold Rush graphic uh, is something that I was able to get off the Gold Rush website, so we're gonna be using that as our background, so that's gonna be underneath our chroma key. Our chroma key is up here, so let's move that over a bit. And you're going to see right away that when I shot this, um, I shot it from the opposite side. My hand is actually upside down. And you might ask yourself, well, why did I do that? Okay. Well, the reason is because when I was wiping off the dirt, um, my arm kept hitting the tripod of the camera because it was on the same side as me. So easy enough. Let's put the camera on the opposite side. Uh, of the paper, shoot down at it. It'll make sure that my hand is upside down, but I'm away from that tripod, okay? 
Since I'm on the other side, how do we fix this? Well, we'll go into our 2D, 3D editor and we'll actually flip this 180 degrees so my hand is coming up from the bottom instead of from the top. It's actually pretty simple. Now, when you wipe off the dirt, you're probably going to have a couple of different attempts before you get one that you like. You'll see that I try this a couple of different times here. That's a little slow for me, so I said, nah, that doesn't look good. So I put all the dirt back in place. Easy enough to do. Just make sure you cover up all the green. And then what I did was I tried it again, and this time it really looked great. Perfect. And the thing that's beautiful about this is right in here, I leave some dirt, which is exactly what I wanted to do. I don't want it to be a perfect wipe. I want... I really want to sell this effect, and the way to do that is actually leave some dirt streaks on here, and that's exactly what happened. These little dirt particles are actually over the Gold Rush graphics, so it really worked out well. So let's start by showing you how I did the rotation. So double-click on this. Let's go ahead and trim it first, because we're not going to need all of this, since this is the section that I'm going to keep. Let's go ahead and double-click on this. You can open up uh, your 2D, 3D editor, however it is on your software. Mine is right up here. We're going to go under 2D Editor Advanced in Studio. We're going to go to No Preset, Open Up Rotation. And what we'll do is we'll just type in an exact 180. All right. Now you'll see. My hand is now coming across at the bottom. Let's go ahead and hit play here. That's exactly what we want. So let's hit OK. Now, obviously, we need, still need to cut the hole in here. And the other thing that I wanted to make sure that we did was we wanted to make sure to really make this a really high quality effect is that we wanted to make sure that the dirt colors are the same as well. And you can do that using some color correction. This dirt color here is the same dirt color or very, very close to the dirt color that's here, okay? And the way that we do that, just to expedite this, let's go ahead and open this up where I've already done this. Let's open this up and take a look. And you'll see that I've actually got three effects on this final uh, layer here. I've got the 2D editor for my 180 degree rotation. I've got the chroma key here, of course, which is going to be to cut out my green background, but also I've got image correction. So let's click on image correction so you can see this. All I did was to make those uh, edges line up, Is I and let's go ahead and play this a little bit. Let's go through this. You'll see it with the chroma key. Okay, see how the chroma key is turned on here? You're only seeing a black background. And let's turn that off, and you'll see that the dirt matches up really well now because if I didn't bring the saturation up it's too different of a color so these are the little things that I want you to think about while you're building effects okay make them as realistic as you possibly can so my saturation came up and then in chroma here we had to use a custom setting the basic um, default which is the green screen didn't work in this case because in the settings my color tolerance needed to come way up. And what that is, is it's a wide variety of green. We had darker greens on this side. We had uh, brighter greens on this side. And the reason for that was because as my hand is moving across, not only is it moving dirt, but it's also causing its own shadows too. So you want to make sure that you cut the hole completely. So we brought up the uh, color tolerance to 100 the saturation, softness, and transparency down to zero, and spill suppression, which gives us a nice little edge here, a little softer edge to help uh, the two pieces of dirt actually, once again, blend together. Um, that's what spill suppression does for us. It takes care of some of those green edges. We're at about 57, but if you see it with no spill suppression, you see how you've got green edges in here? Spill suppression actually takes and actually changes the edge color just a little bit. Let's go ahead, and that looks just fantastic. So we brought that back up, and now we've got all three of those effects on this one layer. So let's go ahead, hit OK. Okay, so let's go ahead and play this back. Let's 
see what it looks like. Oh, doesn't that look great? Let's play that again. I just want to check those colors of the dirt. I love the little sound effect too. So that's the wipe. It's very simple, very effective, and you can use it for other stuff. Let's go into something here that's a little more sinister. <laughs> so just an image that we add. And then, you know, you can use different types of material. It can be sand. It can be um, little styrofoam packing uh, balls that you see in the, uh, in the packing uh, materials industry. Anything that's going to be a color that's not green or blue will be able to work for this. So you might be able to get away with uh, soap flakes or something like that um, as long as they're not transparent. And you'll be able to do things like this. You'll be able to wipe snow off of someone frozen in the ice, something off of, you know, some sort of a horror effects movie, something like that. But very, very cool stuff. So that's how you do the effect. That was fun, wasn't it? That was a great use of chroma key in a very creative way. You know, there's an awful lot of other types of effects like this using chroma key and all sorts of other techniques on Studio Backlight. So I would really encourage you, if you're not a member already, to at least check us out for your free seven days at studiobacklot.tv. There's all sorts of training on a, a myriad of subjects as well as lots of stock footage, uh, motion backgrounds, chroma key effects, you name it, it's there. You really need to check it out. And lastly, if you have any problems at all, drop me an email, pholtz at classondemand.net, that's P-H-O-L-T-Z, at classondemand.net, and I'll always do my best to give you a hand. You can also drop an email to info at classondemand.net, and that'll get to me as well. In the meantime, I hope you enjoy these training videos. I love doing them for you. You have a great day. Thanks for watching.